It's a story you'll see only on two tonight. A Fort Bend County man is facing felony charges after a fire rips through a Fort Bend County probation office. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but a man on probation for stalking has now been charged with arson. KPRC 2 investigator Robert Arnold has spent the day in Fort Bend County speaking with investigators and learning of a possible motive. He joins us live from the probation offices on Beechnut in Fort Bend County. Robert. Surveillance video helped crack this case. The damage from the fire was extensive, but not so much so that it prevented investigators with the Fort Bend County Fire Marshal's Office from piecing together the evidence that was left behind. This Fort Bend County Satellite Probation Office is a total loss. The after hours fire ripped through the building in April. There was high heat within the building from the, from the items that were in there between office chairs and paper products and stuff like that. The fire in this building was so intense, it damaged the building's internet connection, which is why investigators couldn't get any surveillance video from here. But luckily, the county's road and bridge building is right there, and it has plenty of cameras, which captured plenty of video. A shadowy figure was seen running along the fence line behind the probation building about the time the fire started. A search warrant also shows investigators found a blue balloon, a small patch of dead grass, and the smell of gasoline near this fence. Fire Marshal Justin Jurek says his investigators then got a list of probationers who visited this office, started working to match descriptions with the video. There was a long list of people. The staff was incredible with their work they did. They worked very long hours and days and nights. Suspicions grew around 29-year-old Andrew Huar, who was on probation on charges of stalking his ex-girlfriend. Investigators found out he visited the office the day of the fire and his probation officer informed QR of QR's positive drug test and informed QR that QR's probation would likely be revoked. A search warrant shows QR's phone was also in the area of the probation office around the time the fire started and surveillance video shows a car similar to QR's in the parking lot that night. Investigators also say blue balloons similar to the ones found near the office were also found in QR's car. In addition to those arson charges, QR is also charged with driving with an invalid license and interfering with the duties of a public servant. Police say shortly after this fire, he got into a minor fender bender and refused to hand over his keys to the police officers who determined his license was invalid. He is still in the Fort Bend County Jail. He's due back in court at the end of the month. Prosecutors with the Fort Bend County District Attorney's Office say they are also in the process of filing a motion to have his probation revoked in the stalking case. Reporting live from Fort Bend County, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.